Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, I would like to explain a paradox which has. This seen. is the Einstein rock paradox. We start by counting the rocks if you in this row seen that here. Video, let me explain it in action. I have arranged beads instead of rocks. Let's count the beads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Number of beads in each rows and columns is 8. Pause the video and count each rows is 8. Or not. Counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We take an extra rock. Remember, 8 times 4 is 32. And we take the extra rock, we put it there. So we are adding one bit here and just rearranging the bits. Now we can check the total 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now I am adding the second bit here and just rearranging it. Count again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm adding another bit here and then rearranging it. Now we can check the total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Again, I am adding another bit here and just rearranging it. So let's count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Again, I am adding another bit and just rearranging it. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Again, I am adding another bit here and just rearranging it. Let's count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the paradox. After adding 6 extra beads, the number of beads in each rows and columns remains the same. That is the 8. So let's look how it is done. Total number of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. The basic thing here is the beads on the corners are the common ones for the row and the column. Just removing the corner beads by counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 2, 8. Now it's clear corner ones going to a row and a column and here we are arranging such a way the number of beads in the corner position are the highest numbers that is it is 2 or 3 when adding a bead moving one bead from the corner position now we can look what's happening in this row we are changing this corner position beads to a inner position by this rearrangement there is no change in the total number of beads in this row but in this column, we are lagged with one bead, which is fulfilled by the bead which is added. In other words, while doing the adjustment, the total number of beads in the row is unchanged. As we are moving the bead from the common corner position, there is a lack of one bead in the column. So that is, that is filled by the additional bead. While rearranging, we can also rearrange other beads also so that audience will get confused what's happening. Adding the next, we can change the beads from these two corners so that the sum will become 8 itself. Add the next bead so we can change from these two corners. Can change the speed to any other position other than the corner position. Here or oh there. Can't place it here. Total number of beads will become 9 if we place it in that corner. We can add as much number of beads till the corner position. Number of the beads in the corner position becomes 1. After reaching 1, we don't have beads for rearrangement. Count the beads 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
was 22 beds at the beginning we added six more and now becomes 28 big pile of rocks and the crazy thing is even though we started with four rows of eight uh eight times four 32 we added four rocks then we added five rocks we added Look how four rocks by rearranging five extra rocks to the pile that becomes total of nine extra even rocks. when you add all those rocks you're left with 31 less than you started actually it was started with 22 rocks only not with eight four 32 numbers we don't need 32 numbers because of the common corner ones so it becomes 22 plus 9 it's 31 only he was just saying this to confuse us